Hi, welcome to the mess. So I don't know, I wanted to try um, and do kind of like crochet with me today. That sounds very stupid. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad we agree. But basically, I'm a little bit sick um, and I took the day off because I was a little exhausted. So I'm home today and I've done a bunch of things. So I finished editing the um, uh, chomper tutorial. Maybe I posted it. I don't know. I've been working on it for two months. It's, it's a little ridiculous. And um, so I've been sewing this little guy and finished making the pieces for him because I have markets coming up at the end of October. Okay, actually, let me just work on something while I speak since that is what apparently I'm supposed to do. So I have a market coming up at the end of October and I, it's the 15th today I had to check so you know things are going well and I don't know I'm kind of I don't want to say that I'm behind I'm I'm doing the best that I can to have some of the stuff that I need um, at this point I'm basically just I don't know I've given myself a bunch of things that I want to make because I, I find, you know, I can get overwhelmed very easily when I have to do a lot of things. So I have to give myself uh, lists and bullet points. And um, when it comes to markets, I've found out that as long as, you know, I give myself a list, even if it's a, a ton of amigurumis that I will never be able to make, I just work through the list and wherever I get, I get. And that uh, seems to help me you know handle the markets so i have a market at the end of october okay so i'm making a bunch of things that i'm going to add to the things that i already made for the market that i was supposed to attend at the beginning of september and then it got cancelled because um it rained a lot so uh, i don't have too much to make but still enough that I feel like I'm a little behind. That's the gist of it. But I'm focusing on like some autumnal stuff because I thought it would be nice to have some, you know, like autumn and Halloween stuff since it's the end of October. It's going to be the weekend before Halloween. So I thought it would be nice. And um, now what that means is a little bit, you know, <laughs> very It really depends I made. A couple of spiders, I've made a hedgehog, I've made a fox, and I don't know why, but raccoons kind of <laughs> kind of speak of autumn to me. So I'm also making raccoons, hence the little guy, and um, he's currently missing a few pieces. But basically, I have like if you can see here, just, you, you can't see anything because it's a little bit of a mess. But this is how I work because I don't like sewing as much as I like crocheting, so um, I usually crochet the pieces before I sew them, which is not necessarily always good. Someone is singing outside, good for them. Uh, it's not always good because sometimes I overwhelm myself with the chaos, but I have all the pieces, right? And the thing is, I worked on this mostly early in the morning, so I had to turn on an artificial light, okay? And what I didn't notice in the artificial lighting is that I was using two different greys. And that's pretty common for me. I usually go through or I open, if you will, more than one ball of yarn at the same time because I like working on different pieces from different balls of yarn. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And um, I didn't notice that there are two slightly different shades of grey. So this one is a little bit more, I want to say like almost yellow based. And this one is a little bit more um, like blue toned. So they're different, so I went to try and sew uh, the, the body which is blue toned to the leg which is yellow toned and they look very different so I decided to just, since I wanted to make two already I just went ahead and I'm just going to make the pieces that I'm missing with the respective greys so that's where we're at, so I'm working on the tail of the raccoon and then what else, I wanted to make some red pandas and I also wanted to make a giraffe, I'm completely out of frame, congrats to me. I wanted to make a giraffe because I, um, I made one, yeah, I made one for the market in September and it turned out really, really cute. So I wanted to make some more giraffes, um, maybe one more. I'm kind of 
so okay for my first market I basically went ahead and just made a bunch of different things I, I don't know I really experimented because I had spent quite a long time in a bit of a rut when it came to crocheting and when it came to what I wanted to crochet I wasn't very inspired that's what you could say inspired sorry being a little sick is kind of not allowing me to speak so anyway I wasn't very inspired so the market I found really helped because I just you know I wasn't trying to make things thinking oh people I don't know online will like them or it has to be something that that catches people's attention online because I think like attention online and attention in person can be caught by different things and it was kind of a relief because honestly I, I don't understand how um, you know Instagram works anymore so it was a relief to just kind of let it be and just crochet just to crochet I suppose it would be the solution to my whole issue like i could just crochet just to crochet even when it comes to posting on instagram and stuff but that's a discussion for a different day and so it was very nice to just get to just crochet a bunch of things and and just you know just crochet what i wanted and um sorry i'm counting okay and so that was nice and it really helps with the um, kind of struggle that I was having with crocheting and what also really helped was um, you know seeing all the people like in front of me react to the things that I make because it's it's not something that I've ever had except for family and friends obviously but they kind of gotten used to what I make which is normal obviously but it was still nice you know to have some like new reactions to to the stuff that I make it especially from like kids because I, I obviously have never seen a kid see my amigurumis and since they're basically plushies the kids were very enthusiastic about them so that was very nice and um, for this market I'm kind of trying to keep myself a little bit more focused so I'm not trying to make as much variety I'm trying to make a couple of things of the same thing so for example I'm making two raccoons I'm making two foxes, I'm making one head job because it takes me three hours to put the spikes in that thing and I'm not, I'm not doing that twice. Um, but I'm trying to make a couple of things uh, each so that, I don't know, even when you know you you place them like on, on the table they look a little bit more cohesive. So that's that's what I'm doing and that's, that's my exciting life and I'm working on the tail of the raccoon and my favorite part of the raccoon i'm going to show you because this is a crochet vlog so i can talk about vlog jesus christ <laughs> so i can talk about crochet as much as i like which is um exciting for me and for nobody else the best part about the raccoon pattern which is probably like i, I don't know it's one of my favorite patterns that i've made um it's that the um, the arms um have a little like increase here right so when you put them on when you sew them on when you put them on that's weird when you sew them on it kind of looks like a little sleeve like a little puffed sleeve and i think it's very cute like you have to imagine it the right color because it's again the wrong gray or something like this so i just think it's very cute so i don't know it's one of my favorite patterns and i love the the big fluffy tail and what else? I'm contemplating if I should make some Halloween stuff for the market. I'm con contemplating if I have to make... I didn't have that much time. I had like 10 days. So um, I'm not going to be making much, much more than what I have in mind. But I'll try and see if I can make like a pumpkin or something. The spiders, the spiders are fairly Halloween themed. So those are going to be um, at least following that theme it's very difficult to talk and count at the same, at the same time I'm doing neither <laughs> very well
Okay, so midday update. I had my coffee, which, you know, hopefully will help. And I've made, I think I've made all the pieces that I need for the first raccoon. So I'm going to sew him, right? Yeah, that sounds, sounds like a plan. What do I want to sew first? The ears. I usually go by sections, so I usually go head and then I attach the body and then I attach the limbs, usually. Not this time, because I these were the only pieces that I had and I was kind of wanting to get rid of some of the pieces. I wanted to get rid of this mess, like you see this? I, I, <laughs> I do not like this. So I was trying to put as many pieces together as I could and then I found out the whole color thing, so those were the only two pieces that I could put together. So that was fun. I've been thinking about what I want to make for the market. Um, again, even though I didn't have like a lot of time, I'm still like, oh, but I could do that and I can make that, which is um, on one hand very nice because I take it as a good sign creativity wise, but not so much on the planning side. I could, I could use pins, but I'm just not doing it. And um, I've decided I really want to make some more little snakes because I like them. I know they were not a huge success the first market but I like them <laughs> so I hope somebody else will too. So I think I think I'll go for the little snakes and I also really wanted to make an owl. So I have a pattern for an owl um, that I made ages ago and I haven't made one in so long and I remember it was a little bit of a struggle because it uses, uh, I think it's called a crocodile stitch if I'm not mistaken, which takes a little bit of yarn and, and time. But I really wanted to make one because I haven't made one in so long, so I kind of wanted to give that a try and I probably will. So I'm going to try and sew as much as I can of the, um, well I'm going to finish sewing this raccoon and then I'm going to move to um, some commissions that I have. Uh, because uh, I, I don't know, I just <laughs> I take on way too many things, and um, it's something that I try to work on actually, like resting. <laughs> um, like I mentioned that I was um, feeling, you know, a, a little a little bit ill yesterday. I felt much worse, so today I'm feeling better, and I absolutely despise um, being in any way sick or, or ill. Um, in ways that I cannot manage. I think because um, like the, the things that I've been dealing with the most have always been mental health things and those I'm kind of, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time I'm kind, I'm kind of, you know, used to and I'm used to dealing with them. But when it comes to, uh, you know, like fevers and colds and stuff, I just, I hate them so much because the things, the, the unrealistic expectations that I set for myself and for, you know, all the things that I want to do during the day, you want to see it all, like, this is my, this is my pro tip when it comes to crocheting, get yourself some pliers and let the pliers sew for you, because sometimes it's just not happening. So, I was saying that to meet the unrealistic expectations that I have for myself, I need to be, to, to feel, you know, at least fine, I'm not going to say I need to be well, but at least like, you know, fine, like maybe a little bit sleep deprived and um, over caffeinated and tired and what have you, anxious probably, <laughs> um, but I, I, I really do not need to be constantly like sleepy and, and tired in this way. All this to say that I absolutely hate being sick because I need to do as many things as I can um, and that's clearly a very healthy <laughs> very healthy outlook on on life and and a very healthy strategy when it comes to living so yeah uh, thank you for coming to my tech talk yeah I'm going to oh yeah I was talking about the commissions yeah that's that's because i have commissions and don't worry if it's um lopsided it's fine it's going to then be folded so you won't notice it anyway i was saying i have commissions i have to make two dinosaurs 
um, cotton ones. Uh, thankfully, like the pattern isn't mine, so I just have to follow a pattern, which is good because um, I didn't have to, you know, think as much. Because when you have to come up with a pattern, sometimes it's all a bit complicated, so that's nice. But I wanted to at least get started on those. I know they don't take a long time to make. I think I could probably make one today, like sew it and all. So um, I'm gonna try and get that done. What was it that I wanted to do today? Okay, so I want to finish sewing the raccoon for certain, and then I want to get started on the commissions. And if I can, I'll either keep making pieces for the second raccoon, or I might make pieces for the fox or the red panda sorry because i already have like this. no it's not in frame but i have this um this is the body and it's a little bit <laughs> it's a little bit squished but it's the body so um, i have to make the other pieces and the pattern i don't have it um because i made a red panda and i didn't write down the pattern but i really liked it <laughs> so i want to make another one and maybe this time um, I'll be a little bit smarter and, and write down the pattern. Maybe. We'll see. I'll let you know. I, I'm, I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm thinking about the owl lot, so maybe I'll just work on the owl because I know that. I'll just enjoy making it a little bit more um, because I really want to make one. So... Yeah. I think that's the plan for the rest of the day. I suppose I'll maybe um, check in later in a little bit and uh, tell you how, how it's going. I, I cannot breathe it through my nose. <laughs> so um, talking is it, it, just, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing cardio. I love not being able to breathe. Anyway, I'll check in with you in a little bit, I suppose. And um, yeah, okay, that's it. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll just leave a little bit of my sewing in here. Um, just to show you that I'm really bad at it. I know, I know people are like, please, can you, can you please show us how you sew? Because I've made the macaroni and everything. I made all the pieces, and then you don't show me how to sew. I, I know. I'm just. I don't think me showing you how to sew would help. But um, maybe this will convince you that <laughs> it's not. It's not that good. Hello, very quick update from the next day. So yesterday I kind of ended up falling asleep because I was just very tired. And I know I said yesterday that I was trying to fix this mess, um, but I then realized that I ran out of stuffing. I don't know how that happened. That never happens to me. I don't know, I just did, I wasn't paying attention. So I just basically, instead of stopping, I crocheted everything that I could that didn't need to be stuffed immediately. So I now have even more pieces than I did yesterday that I have to sew. But I think I, I did end up, I, I did end up, <laughs> this is high quality content. I did end up sewing, that's, that's better. 
uh, so in the raccoon so that's that's great I think he looks amazing uh, but I um, have the pieces I've done the pieces of the new raccoon that I did I didn't finish the hat because I needed stuffing for that so <laughs> this is literally how I left it and I have the pieces for the fox again I have to finish the hat and then I'm, I, I started working on a bunny um, because I, re I really like the bunny that I made so I wanted to make another one so I'm basically walking back everything that I said in the previous clips okay okay good see you tomorrow who knows what <laughs> what tomorrow tomorrow will look like but uh, we'll see once again hello it's Saturday so it's been a couple of days since the last clip and I just wanted to kind of wrap this up and show you what I ended up actually making so um, first of all I made one of the dinosaurs that I needed for a commission but I've already given it to the person who wanted it so I didn't have that to show you but I finished sewing the little fox and I actually have two of them even though like I can't physically that was a needle falling obviously I didn't have like the space to show you but I have two of them and then I finished sewing the two raccoons all right the two raccoons and i really like them i should make a tutorial about this pattern because i think it's adorable with these little puffed sleeves i also finished sewing the little bunny and i like him he's cute i think the first one i preferred the lilac that I used for the first one but that's also pretty cute and then I made one little snake and I think I'm gonna make some more because um, I really like them they haven't been like a huge success in markets but I do like them and a few people ask for them outside of the market so I don't know maybe someone will like it this time and then I made a couple of, of pumpkins just because and I really love um, I made them with this one is it's it's just single crochets works in back loops only and i really like giving them texture i don't like i've tried making them with single crochets and i don't like them i don't know why but with this kind of texture i like them a lot more um this one is half double crochets worked not in back loops um but like i, I don't know it's kind of like the loop because when you work in a half double crochets you get that loop behind and if you make your next round in the, into those loops, it almost looks like you have a chain in the front, if that makes sense. If you've crocheted and you've encountered that stitch, maybe that makes sense. I think I'm going to just push the eyes slightly inwards, like so, because the texture of the stitch kind of pushes this eye a little bit forward and I don't like it. So um, I might just do that. But yes, those are the two pumpkins and then... Okay, I'm very proud. <laughs> of this little guy i love him so much and the funniest thing is i have a pattern for an owl it's very very old but i have it and i was following it and i was like oh this is weird this this doesn't seem right so i kind of started going freehand right and what i realized while i was when i was almost done um was that that pattern is worked um from the bottom up which is unusual for my patterns but it's because of um, the crocodile stitch because the crocodile stitch um, works uh, if you like if you start from the bottom of the owl basically it works better because then it's easier to make the crocodile stitch which is I'm gonna show you it's almost like a scale okay and I want it to point downwards okay because they want it to seem like plumes and basically if you start working from the bottom it's easier to get that effect because when I was work working it from the top, I got to the stitch and I was like, that's weird. It, it, it's not supposed to be that difficult. I don't remember it being that difficult. And then I realized why. But now I have, I suppose, a new pattern for the owl. I really like it. I don't know. I should, I should, again, probably one that I should um, write down and maybe make a tutorial. I don't know. <laughs> God knows I don't have the time. But I might make another one of these. Uh, the crocodile stitch is very time consuming and also making the um, feast I suppose it really annoys me because you have very little room to make them um, but I just might because it's really cute and then I had some, some pieces of a koala that I hadn't um, this light isn't making it justice 
like I have a difficult relationship with this pattern but it's not that difficult anyway um, so I had some pieces that I had made for the market at the beginning of September the one that didn't happen and I just found them again I completely forgot that I had them so I just sewed them so this isn't exactly from scratch and then I wanted to make some more um, Halloween themed ones because it's going to be like uh, the 26th and 27th of October so it's going to be you know close to Halloween and I made this little ghost I don't know ghosts are always a little bit difficult because um, you know it's not like they have like a distinctive feature about them I suppose or maybe I don't know maybe I'm just I don't know anyway I made him with um, the little velvet yarn and I don't know maybe someone will like it I don't know people have surprised me in markets so I say markets I've only done one um, okay, and then I wanted to show you, I also found that I had made for last market pieces of a giant koala, right? And I had never sewed it because I completely forgot that I had them. I also want to fix the eyes here a little bit. But yeah, so I also sewed the giant koala and I, I like it. I think I could have... Um, sewn the arms and the legs better or in a better position because i think maybe closer together would have been better but this is what we get for now so yeah i think that's it what else i'm planning on making uh as i said maybe one more owl uh, maybe a couple of snakes i would really like to make something really really small so very small turtles or bees it's usually what i go for and um, I have some more velvety yarn that I would like to use and the, the positive thing about that is that it's a very thick yarn so it works up very quickly and um, you can get some really nice looking and groomies and they can be eye-catching so I think I'm gonna make some duckies and maybe I'll, I wanted to try one turtle uh, with some velvety yarn so I think I'll give that a try um, and I don't know, if you want to see those, I suppose you can just follow me, I'll post them somewhere, I hope. I hope I'll have the time to um, film them. But yeah, I'll stop complaining about not having time and uh, start being excited about having things to do. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the next one, I think. I don't know, this was, I, I don't know, this was fun for me. I got to talk about, <laughs> I got to talk about me. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough. Um, you can follow me in a bunch of places and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.